Hi everybody, this is Jason from ProfHacker and I wanted to show you a new way to find Creative Commons images for your website, blog, presentation, whatever else it is you need. In the past, whenever I've needed such an image, I've come to the Flickr advanced search page, which you see the URL here. You put in whatever search terms you want. We'll put in some words chosen completely at random. Uh, you scroll down to the Creative Commons menu. You search, only search within Creative Commons license content. And usually if I'm looking for pictures for Prof Hacker or Geek Dad, since those are hosted by larger publishing entities, I usually find content to use commercially. Then just click search and it gives you different pictures, right? Look, she's so cute. That's not bad. It does require the special bookmark to the advanced search page. It does require me to remember to tick the commercial use only and so forth, but it is a pretty handy tool. There is, however, a newish way to find these pictures, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. It's wileyo.com, W-Y-L-I-O.com. It presents you with a simple little text box, and all you need to do to find and resize and move around pictures is the name of is some things to search for. So again, here's a topic I've never heard of before. And we search for pictures, and look at that, you get 34 pictures, uh, pages of pictures of the whole study. Click on one, and this is where Wileo is really nice. You find uh, the image, it puts you in a sample web page with some nice lorem ipsum text. You see the image with the Creative Commons license required captioning information with links to the Flickr profile of the photographer and the, the uh, photo itself. Really nice is that you can manipulate the size as you like. You can also change the alignment as you see here. It goes you can right, center, or left, which are pretty common. And then when, you, when you're happy with the way it looks, you get the code. And it gives you a nice little snippet of HTML that has the code for the image as you've sized it. If you publish in a highly structured publishing environment, as some people do, and you need pixel level specification over your width and height, you can identify that here and make sure that you're within the parameters of your content management system. Right? So that's why Leo, it's basic feature. I mean, it's simple, stripped down, but it is super convenient and very, very easy to use. That's it. Hope you have a good, uh, a good week, and thanks for reading Prof Hacker.